Hey guys, good morning everybody. So I will be doing another painting, um, what is it called? A painting demo this morning. And I will be doing a style that I'm not used to, used to, um, but it's been in my heart to do it. And the person who commissioned this piece has given me freedom to pick whatever style I wanted. So um, let me show you the piece that I will be working with. So this is the image and the photo I will be working with. So it's all about the grandpa and the granddaughter. And the only request that the person uh, asked for is that um, I would capture the joy in their faces. So I'm not only going to paint what I see, but I'm also gonna choose some fun colors to go with it. So today I'm going to paint um, uh, without drawing. So white canvas. Um, I'm gonna paint without drawing today and I'm just going to lay down color. So I remember one time in college, um, my teacher, we were working with pencil, it still works the same or with um, charcoal, same, same rule. She said, uh, just lay down your lights and lay down your darks and then add um, detail. So I'm gonna try that today. Uh, I have five different colors that I'm working with. So let me show you what I got. So these are my most common colors that I use for portraits. I have um, crushed coral, which really the point is um, some kind of pink is fine. If it's not this, I'm usually using, uh, let me see. And you know, just a light pink is fine. Pink is always a, a part of skin tone. Then you have, um, this is one of my favorites, Pueblo. Uh, but there's other types of it. Any type of clay orange is very good for skin tone. I also have, um, oh, this doesn't have any name on it, but yellow ochre. Uh, if you watch Bob Ross, that always works. And any kind of off-white is really good. Um, white, white, uh, you use later. And then I got black. So now I don't use black. Wait, is this black? That would be weird. Yes, it is. So um, you don't use uh, black until the end um, due to the fact that um, it's just to give details and stuff like that. So first, I'm just going to lay down the colors of the skin tone, an idea of where the mouth is going to be, an idea of where the eyes are going to be, and you know stuff like that. And we'll see how it goes. Now, I haven't done this style in forever, um, but uh, just go with me. Another thing I want to point out is there's... Um, it's uh, squared. I just screenshotted my phone as I was cropping the photo. Now people like to do this grid thing so that they can get the proportions correct. So that's a big thing. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will be painting for the next hour or so or until I feel like I've done enough live. And uh, feel free to watch along. Okay, let me see. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let's, can you see where I'm at? Let's move these out of the light. I will be using um, a couple different types of brushes. So I always have my wide. I always have my mini wide and then like a thin one for details. So that's where we're at. Good morning, everybody. Melinda, John, Victor. Ooh, I almost cut you guys off. My bad. Juanche. That's Pastor Juan from, from Colombia. And Jonathan, what's up, bro? And the other Jonathan, hello, hello. All right, so here we go. If you didn't see, one more time, since a lot of you guys just jumped on, here's my photo. The only goal is to capture joy. I'm going to do a new style today that you guys haven't seen me do on, um, on these painting demos. I'm trying to get this up high, yeah. All right, it's a little bit difficult, sorry, y'all. Okay, I'm just going to work with it. Here's my five colors. I'm going to leave black out for now. Black is for later. <sighs> when you are doing um, skin tones and all that kind of fun stuff, um, never start with uh, or never add yellow unless you're painting Asian people. Only Asians, from what I've seen, have yellow skin tone. And every time I use yellow on a portrait, it ruins... The thing because they always come out looking Asian and if they're not Asian that's not the right color all right but I do like yellow ochre so anyways here we go I'm gonna start with the fat brush and I'm gonna lay down color now I'm not gonna worry right now about the backgrounds because I really want the background to be really bright colors so I'm just looking at um, my 
portraits, my people. I'm going to start with um, just getting chunks of yellow. Now, my paint is not the best, so I'm going to dip it in a little bit of water and kind of get it down a little bit. Okay. So let's just, I'm just going to lay... I'm just imagining her face starts there. From what I see from the grid on my photo, she is in the first two thirds. So I even came down too low, but that is totally fine because this style allots for a lot of adjusting. So it's really fun. What's up, Nate? Good morning. Okay, so I'm just gonna put where I know her face would go. His has a little bit more pink in it. So I'm gonna take some pink. And my brush is still dirty with yellow ochre, so that's perfect. And he starts around here, and his face is a lot bigger. The difference between adult faces and children's faces is the proportion of their, um, their, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It is so hard to paint and talk, but I am going to continue to grow because I love making these demo videos for you guys. I told my wife one day that she has to sit here and translate everything I say so that the Colombians can follow along. That would be fun. All right. So I have my first two things. Now, um, obviously, if I'm here alone, I will be working a lot quicker. Um, but to help you guys follow along, um, while your paint is wet, it's good to now get the next brush. So I'm going to get the next brush. I'm gonna get something smaller. I might actually go a little bit smaller. Let me see. I'll, I'll get another one ready. See, small, small. You just keep working smaller. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm going to start figuring out where the face portions might go. I'll dip, you know, dip my colors, make, just be loose with it. Uh-oh. I hope this doesn't turn off every two seconds. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Well. The computer turned off. Okay, so, so that's not light enough, so I'm gonna get white. Um, her forehead's here, cheek, eye. Now, even though I like the brush strokes, I wanna keep it more flat rather than just chunks of paint and stuff, so I'll make sure to work that out. Now, I'm imagining the canvas in thirds. So just so you can see what I see in my head. This is what I see. Okay. That's what I'm seeing in my head um, when I'm looking at the thing. Good morning, Jen. Jen is the proud owner of a new painting. Um, that I did called uh, When I walk with him I walk in peace and that piece has been ministering to me all week. So I am so glad that it is going home with her as a gift to her family member All right So now this girl's chin to see what I'm looking at this girl's chin is above the second thirds line. So I need to keep that in mind as I keep moving forward. What's up, Michael? Michael, are you going to Jesus Conference? I don't know why I was thinking about you. Anyways, anybody else who's watching along, if you're in Orlando, all the evening sessions of Jesus Conference are, um, are free. So come on down. Now, okay, wait. One other thing that is easy to mess up so her mouth is open so i would perceive like oh my gosh like what the heck am i gonna you know i would think that her face goes a lot lower but it doesn't so i gotta keep in mind not only what i perceive but what actually is so she is still above that two-thirds line so just going back in because as you can see i had already gone way below that two-thirds line which is right here so i need to go back up and just make sure that I'm positioning her correctly. Now, where is her other cheek? It's halfway over here. All right. So you may not see anything, but I am 
uh, just laying down color so that I kind of know where the faces are. So this is like, you know, her nose, her eyes are here, her forehead, her cheeks, and her mouth is here. So I'm definitely gonna have to learn all these proportions. The rest of it's probably here. So now I'm gonna go to the guy's face. Um, and he starts. Now, if my voice is a little bit deeper than usual, it is because I am overcoming a cold and I lost it because we went airboat riding with my, um, with my church for servanthood. So, all right. Now this guy's chin goes all the way down to mid over here. So this is a grandma, a grandma, a grandpa and granddaughter painting, um, which I have actually been getting tons of requests for grandparents. Um, so that's really cool. Today is actually my grandma's birthday. She's turning 72. So happy birthday, my Josie. I don't know if she'll ever watch this, though. She is not a Facebooker. But um, yes. So, all right. Get an idea of eyes, nose, and, you know, mouth is here. Let me do something else for mouth. Let's go with, a, like, the pink. Let's go a little bit darker with this. Mouth is here, under the nose. Um, cool. And then he has, like, these thick... He's got that. Older man, not wrinkles, but just established wrinkles. I don't know how to explain it. Established, I don't know what you call it without offending everybody and their mother. All right. He has, his eye. he has really chinky eyes when he smiles. So we'll just go with that. He has a really round nose. Um, and his mouth is open as well. So we'll see how that all goes. All right. Now we're going back to the little girl. Let's see. Her mouth is probably right here. And then her nose is small up here. And her eyebrows are way up here. She's got a big excited face. Okay. This painting is slightly difficult because they both have these big smiles and for some reason it's like I can't perceive it on my canvas but I'm gonna keep trying to use this um, grid to help me do it and what's really cool like I said is you're gonna use the strokes of paint to help you um, figure out where things begin and all that kind of stuff all right I'm gonna get rid of my paint by just putting it on the canvas Oh, he has a neck, so I should probably add that in. Okay. See me? All right, neck. So if you are just watching in, I am doing a painting demo of a particular style that I remember being talked about in college. Pretty much what my teacher taught me was that you lay down um, a general idea of where something is, and then you begin to put shadows and lights, and then you keep working that with just brush strokes until you have a full piece. So that is what I'm doing today. I am uh, reducing the size of my brush now so that I can start um, going a little bit further. So to show you what we're working with here, um, whoops, what happened? All right, is I am painting this. This is what we got so far in the past like five minutes. So I'm going to um, <clears throat> identify like where the eyes and the mouth are because if I don't do that, I'm going to get overwhelmed real quick. I haven't done this style in like 10 years. Well, I take that back. I probably did this style before, but um, it's something I'm not, you know, professional or how do I explain it? I'm not expert at. All right. But it was in my mind to do this. Okay, so now we're going to maybe, you know what? 
Hmm. What do I want to do? It's okay to start off dark and then go light because uh, you can adjust. So I'm just going to start laying out like an outline. Here we go. One of the things that uh, people always ask is, you know, when did you see this went too low? This is my third and she is above the third. So I need to go back up. So this doesn't exist. I'll just blend it in. Uh, and this, her cheek goes all the way up here. One moment. I need to concentrate. Okay. Her forehead goes up and over mid. All right, we're getting it, we're getting it. Mid. And then it goes over. Okay. I'm satisfied. And then the other cheek. So cute. All right. <clears throat> okay. Now the mouth is open wide. Anytime I scream, my mouth goes very wide. All right. I wish I knew the, the names of these two people. Her bottom lip is not that big, but I'll adjust it later. She has a much bigger, um, her chin is showing a lot. So I'm just getting an idea of where everything is. I'm gonna adjust later. Oh, okay, what I was saying earlier is, you know, a huge way that I learned how to paint um, was growing up, I I never had uh, art supplies just cause, you know, it. it costs a lot of money to get art supplies or to start off or whatever it may be. Um, but what I did have is drawing. So I learned how to draw. I love drawing. And then um, when it came to painting, I started when I was in high school. And, uh, and pretty much I just took the brush and I, would, and I would draw. And then along the way, I learned how to paint because you just, you learn the characteristics or the dynamics of a brush rather than your pencil. So if you want to learn how to paint, but you only know how to draw, that's totally fine. Just draw with a paintbrush, like lay down a background and then draw with your paintbrush and you'll figure it out. Okay. So we're getting general idea. Now, if I was alone, I would be um, making sure to work this, you know, as we go, but just so you get an idea of the process laying it out what's up ashley ralph and rosa bethany lila lila from mexico well she's not mexican but she was my my one of my children in mexico and melissa paulette you guys are all wonderful good morning okay so now i'm gonna do the grandpa uh let's do their faces are slightly apart um, he starts mid. Let's go to mid. It is right here. Okay. They definitely, she definitely gets her cheeks from her grandpa. That is what I'm seeing here. They have the same little papa. It's not really a full double chin. It's just the way that they smile. They push their neck back and they cause these wrinkles. It's cute. I could do the same. It just takes a lot of effort. Okay. Oh, I forgot to respond. Thank you, Jonathan. I am an overcomer. Yes, I am. And then Sean Sullivan. This is fascinating. I'm the least artsy person in the world and this looks fun. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited to um, work with you guys in the future. Um, I added you because uh, I'm friends with uh, Jim and Scott. I don't even know if you're still watching because I know there's only one person watching. But anyways, uh, John Sullivan, 
works in Ukraine with, uh, with orphans. So we're hoping to work with him this upcoming year. So I'm super excited for that. Okay, so what I'm doing is just marking out where these faces are going to go. Ba -ba -ba -ba. All right. All right, all right. His round nose, round nose. Okay. Ba -ba. All right. Oh, that's cool. He has a lot of space between his nose and his mouth, so I need to make sure to keep that in mind. Let's go with this is the third quadrant, and his upper lip is actually right on top of that, so I need to bring it lower. So this can be erased, pretty much. Okay. Save that for later. All right, and then the bottom lip needs to come out again. Here's the quadrant. Yeah, it's a nice big bottom lip. Okay. It's cool. See, I just burped in you guys' ears. What's up, Lula? Okay. So for those who are watching along, I am doing a style where you start off very vague in general, and then you start to um, add uh, details by layering your your paint so i'm using these four colors just so you know i got yellow ochre a form of pink an off-white and some kind of clay looking color those are always my go-to's when it comes to portraits so now what should i do um all right mm -mm 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 -mm. i'm gonna do a little bit of the hair just gonna put it out there. Oh, I'm gonna get my towel. All right, the girl's hair is black. So here we go. Just gonna put it here. Oops, went on the face. All right. Um, and then his shirt is black. I might change that up, but I'll at least mark it here. All right. Oh, whoops. That doesn't really go like that. It goes like this. There's a random. Okay. So we got like that they kind of look like they're leaning up against each other. His hair is actually white. Okay. So. 
If you're curious about like uh, the types of paints that I use, I use um, folk art and I get it from Michaels. So it's not super expensive. It's about a dollar fifty at most for um, one bottle. So it's good. You could stack up. They also sell them at at um, Walmart, but I always I always go to Michaels because they always have sales. So now he has like perfect white hair. So just laying out where his hair might be. Cool. And then over here, same thing. Cool veins, that's that on white. All right, now I haven't done this style in forever, but it's already looking pretty cool. Um, this is one way that you can do portraits. Uh, so I like it, I like it so far. So let's show, again, just show you what I'm working with. This is what I'm working with. These are the colors I'm using. I'm starting off, uh, I don't remember what the word is. Ooh, I should take a picture, shouldn't I? Here, let me see. How do I zoom out? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. That's good. Screenshot. Okay, and then, um, okay, bring the, okay, cool beans. So now we're gonna do, I, I kind of like postponed a little bit and kind of waited because it's good sometimes to let certain layers dry before you start a new one. Um, so I'm just talking. Uh, so in the meantime, if you guys would like to know, here, I'll turn to me for a little bit. So this weekend, um, Friday, Friday night, we have something called Favo. So if you ever want to come uh, to like a gallery, um, art studio feel, casual, kind of like a date night, it could be with kids, it's all good. Um, but Every first Friday of the month, I'm at a place called Favo, and our team has a studio there amongst like maybe 30 other studios that are open. It's really chill, really casual. Um, so if you want to come through, you can do that. We'll have a ton of tons of little things available for Christmas time. So I have a friend who's making Christmas ornaments and Christmas tags and um, all that kind of stuff. So definitely come through. We'll have some gifts, uh, low cost um, sales for Christmas time. And what else is going on this week? Uh, I will be showing art at a church in Castleberry. So if you're in that area, that'll be on Saturday evening. So definitely uh, let me know if you want more info on that. And what's today? Oh, and then Friday night, uh, if you're in the Millennia area. So Friday night is Favo from 5 to 9. Um, but if you're in the Millennia area, I'll be ministering at Live Church. So definitely come through. That's the one at Holy Land. Um, and it's uh, their youth service. So anyways, back to it. It should be dry enough. Okay. Hello, Joanita. Okay. Here we go. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I like how it's coming out so far. It looks really cool. Okay. Ahora... I'm going to get uh, my smaller brush. So again, just to remind you, I went from, I guess I'll use something else to show, thick. I went from a thick brush to a thinner brush to a thinner brush, and now this one. Um, the specifics are not needed, uh, but you definitely need to get yourself a quality thin brush. This one is not quality. If you want to give me a Christmas present, um, thin brush would be great. Okay. So let us, let me identify where her shirt is. Um, her shirt is like way up here because her shoulder is up in the air. And she's like, hi. So that's that. And another shoulder here shoulder and then she, her hand is in here somewhere so i'm just gonna do that for now 
All right. Now, what do I need to do, Lord? Let's do... I always, I usually always start with the eyes. So you know what? I will start with the eyes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So I guess let's go white, right? Off-white. I always start with off-white so that later on in the painting, I can utilize uh, real white to make things glow. From what I see from her eyes, she is actually flat on the bottom, so I went too far, so I'm just going to reimagine that and adjust it. A child's eyes are, they're not bigger, they just perceive to be bigger, because the eyes are actually the same size as an adult, but on a smaller face. Okay. The space between two eyes is an eye. It looks about right. I need to always readjust my canvas because as of right now, this eye is like here and this eye is much lower. So I need to make sure that I'm not, you know, misplacing the eyes. I've done that so many times and I don't wanna do that today. Her face is straight. Maybe I need to keep my canvas straight. Hey, Gerald. Okay, so. Her eyes are a little bit higher than usual because she has a very excited look on her face. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Now, I usually use the darkest color out of my color scheme to make the lines. As you can see, I've already used the um, orange or whatever this is called, Pueblo, to mark. So I'm going to do the same with the eyes. You know, sadly, my quadrant is here. And in the photo, her eye is up here where the, the thing is. I might have to readjust these eyes altogether because I really wanna get their faces right since this is all about them. So her eye is actually up here. I should have looked at that earlier. So I'm gonna to have to readjust. Lord. Okay. And the other eye, quadrant. So her eyes are actually moving her eye up. Excuse me, I'm like yawning in y'all's ear. So just moving her, her eyes up. If you're just watching in, I'm just making an adjustment. Her eyes are supposed to be higher, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and then I just need to quickly get some paint. And go over it. She looks kind of crazy now, don't she? It's okay. All right. Again, just keep working your painting until it all works out. Her eyebrows are here. Her eyebrows. 
start on the quadrant and they come up and over. So I need to just get a better idea. Um, and then her forehead probably goes a little bit higher. So let me get a, this brush again, getting my thicker brush just to make these adjustments before. White always helps to, to make something opaque because it's the same as like, you know, starting on a fresh new canvas. While I'm at it, I'm just gonna keep. Okay, her nose, the way I'm looking at it is, okay, one, three, four, okay. It's like two eyes down is where the nose begins. See, black is heavy, which is why I usually do it last, but you know me, I like to rush the process sometimes. Okay, I'll just use it over here. <clears throat> Use it in the mouth. Now I need to get the black off of my brush. Hey, Rudy. Rudy is my cousin. Okay. From Texas. Okay. So... So I'm doing a new style that I haven't done in a while um, from college. Orale. My, my computer went off again. It's not even dying. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep moving according to my imagination. When doing portraits, it is very hard to move according to imagination because you want it to look like the person. It's easy to make a portrait look like the photo, but to make it look like the person is just, I don't even know what makes the difference, but, um, but there is a difference. So definitely always look back and forth with the photo. Um, use a grid if you have to, and uh, that'll help you accomplish the task. Now, my yellow is coming out kind of green because I put the black from the head is getting in. So, just a tip, usually don't add black until the end, but here I am, disobeying my own rule. All right. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Let's get some white. She also gets this from her grandpa. I see that she has this, a lot of space between the nose and the mouth. It might also be because they're laughing, but he's, he has a lot of space. Hey, Joel. What's up, Joel? So this is what we're working with. Grandpa and granddaughter having a fun day. And I have to portray their joyful, joyful faces. 
So just laying down some colors and then details later. So if you're just watching in, one of the techniques that we learned in college, which I never took a painting class in college, but I did learn this in drawing class and it works regardless, is um, that you lay down where all the shadows are and all the lights are and then you, then you can add detail. And that's the style I had in mind for this painting. I don't always do that. Sometimes I'll draw it out or whatever it may be. Um, but uh, I just wanted to try something new. It's amazing how something will transform in like two seconds. You'll be like, oh, that's hideous. And then all of a sudden it's good. So you just keep working your piece until, um, until you can tell it's starting to, I don't even know what the word is, like, start and work out. It's kind of like your faith. All right. I need that black to dry because it's causing a lot of greens in the face that I don't want. Um, but thankfully, this is just the beginning and it is not super necessary. One of the things I do want to make sure of in this process is not to have a lot of thick paint. Um, because otherwise the canvas will look really ugly in the coming hours. It'll be too thick and chunky and it's just bad. All right, let's give her eyebrows again. You'd be surprised at how eyebrows make people look human. So speaking from the artist who just needs some morale every once in a while, halfway through his painting, there's some details that I put in before their time just so I can like, I don't know, encourage myself that I'm a good painter because sometimes you're working through and you're like, what is this? Um, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's always good to just add details. I've come up with styles that pretty much just encourage me throughout um, because it's, it gets scary when you've been working on a painting for an hour and you're still not satisfied with it. So we're starting to get there. How exciting. I love this. So we're starting to just get more and more details. And just by working the paint, working the colors. Um, I think one of my biggest advices as well for those who are watching who are artists is make sure you just keep a set color scheme and you don't add a thousand different colors up front. I have the same four um, main colors that I really aim for when I'm doing portraits. And I finally just got the hang of it because I knew... I wanted to start allowing you guys to watch in and I'm like, man, I need to know what colors I'm gonna use. So anyways, I use like a, a clay orange, which you see me using now. I use a pink, yellow ochre and an off white. And so those help me to start this uh, process. Still learning portraits. Portraits are definitely always difficult. I mean, I, I don't know when it'll ever get easier, but I love them when they're done. <laughs> if you know anybody who would like portraits uh, done, let them know to just check out my website. All sizes and prices are listed there on antoniotheartist.com. So definitely just send them in that direction because I've been getting tons of requests. But keep in mind, during Christmas time, there is a thousand requests coming in and you got to get to me early. Otherwise, you'll get your Christmas presents late. Um, this is one that was actually for... Uh, the grandpa, he is, um, I don't know how old he turns, but his birthday was on the 27th. 
The eyes are better positioned. Thank you, Gerald. Thank you, Jewel, for your compliment. Isidro, ¿cómo estás? Gene Rumley, my favorite uh, missionary to India. Even though you're the only missionary I know to India, but you're still one of my favorites. That's all I have to say. Okay, so let's make these eyes a little bit more uh, pretty rather than scary. So again, if you weren't here earlier, I use an off-white. And usually sometimes I'll add, you know, like blue or, well, no, I was going to say yellow. But no, I just add blue. If you add yellow, it'll make it look diseased. So you just got to know your colors. Um, I do an off-white so that later if I do any kind of reflections or whatever have you, you can make it look like it's glowing with true white. So off-white is always good. All right, all right. So, um, now let's use some black. Oh, remember how I said don't use black until the end? Look at me, I'm disobeying my own rules. All right, what's up, Rosie? Como estas? Rosie is one of the first missionaries we work with in Colombia. And she introduced us to everything over there, while her husband did. So I honor them always. I like how the white and the black kind of mix together. Because eyes, one of the tricks I've heard from people who paint eyes is they say... Um, Always give the the iris or whatever it is, uh, the color around the eye, a soft outlining, like blended in with something else because eyes are blended in real life. So it gives that, that real life look. Now this eye and this eye are two different sizes right now. So I need to, um, I think, make this one bigger. Mm -hmm. I have to constantly turn my, my canvas straight again because otherwise I'll like draw everything all weird. So here we go. Um, give her some eyelashes. I'm going to zoom in on her eyes just so you can see what I'm doing. I'm zooming in on her eyes so that I can see. Ooh, she has brown eyes, see? This is why you got to zoom in. All right. She's even almost crossing them. So here we go. I'm going to move this over. And, okay. Yeah. All right. She has pretty much almond shaped eyes, which, um, Surprisingly, I have not painted many like that, which means there's not like a, it, it's just like a perfect rounded top and a pretty much rounded bottom. There's not a lot of, uh, I don't know how to explain it, variation in arch. I, yeah, I'm sounding smarter than I'm supposed to. All right. Now, she does have eyelashes, but I'm not going to add those eyelashes just yet. And it's okay that this line underneath is not super solid because the eyelashes on the bottom are not as prominent as the ones on top. Okay. If you want to get... Uh, a consistent line, it's always good to wet your brush a little bit. Not too much, but enough. It will allow your your paint to flow. Okay. Now, I'm going to 
add a little bit of black here, yeah? which I'm just She's got the cute little kid's nose. Their nostrils are always super sharp. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for now. The mouth, let me zoom out a little bit. Ah, too much, too much. Okay, it is in the quadrant. The bottom really doesn't have a strong color, so I'll leave that. And this is where the tongue is. And I'll leave the rest for later. Okay, now I'm going to go back into my darkest color, which aside from the black is this, um, this orange, so. All right, I'm just going to give her her upper lip. This is not the final color of the lip, but I need to see an upper lip. So. If you are interested as well in getting some kind of art class done or whatever it may be, um, I would love to teach you, but I like for the students to choose what they want to learn um, because there's so many things to pick from. So definitely, if you're interested in a class or whatever, um, gather some people together, maybe like five, if you're gonna do it at our studio, if you're gonna do it at your own location, you can do more. Um, it's about $30 a class or 35 if you want snacks and food and all that kind of stuff, um, or snacks, not food. But uh, I provide all the supplies and, and, uh, and then you tell me what you wanna learn and I teach you guys. So um, you could do it for birthday parties or prophetic art nights or you know whatever you have in mind. So that is a service I offer if you're ever interested. Or maybe you wanna do something for Christmas, even if not during the Christmas time, but to offer. I do want brush stroke style, so um, I always have to tell myself to be a little bit more loose than I am being because Hello, good morning, Manny. Gerald, what did you say yes to? Portraits, something about portraits. What's up, Celeste? All right. Boom, 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 boom. Today, I have no music on. I don't know why, but it's just not. It's a nice, quiet day. Has anybody been outside yet? It is freezing. Well, Floridian freezing. Oh, a portrait class. That is a great idea. 
Good idea, Gerald. Good idea. I'm not even hearing my own thoughts. Thank you for hearing them for me. Please document them. But, uh... All right. So you just keep working it. This is, you know, portraiture for me is, is I mean, every single time is a completely different experience. Some days I'm getting it and other days I'm like, what the heck? I should just quit my day job. So you just keep working it um, until the forms start to work. You'll see along the way, you'll be like, that's not working, this is working. Like, I just made that super dark and didn't have to. And I'm not yet sure how to take it back to the way it was, so I'm adding white. And it's it's like, it's a whole experiment the whole way through. If you see that, man, you have too many brush strokes or whatever, consider changing the brush, which I'm gonna do right now. So it helps you to get those bigger brush strokes around the face much smoother than a small brush. You can already see the difference. I like to use some colors um, even if I don't see them in the in the actual photo just because it adds to the uh like gender i guess like you know so pink pink always suggests a little girl so that's why i'm using that now the man actually has a lot of pink in his skin so he's gonna get that regardless now here there's something happening where there's thick paint and it keeps lifting it up so i'm gonna leave that alone for a little bit i need to let it dry otherwise i'm gonna have a really weird it's it's not going to look good at all. That's kind of like when you when you paint a wall and you repaint it too quickly, you start to lift up paint and then there's these chunks that are super shallow, like I can see the canvas there and there's chunks of paint and I don't like that. So, I need to move on to some other portion. Um, but 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 Oh, my bad. I'm not looking at my photo. So let's go back to the photo. So remember this area that was mixing with black? Now I could easily cover over it because it's dry. So that is nice. I'm gonna go back here and just bring some definition. Give her a forehead. Surprisingly, perception tells you that foreheads are not that big when really they are. So make sure you honor the forehead. Um, when you're drawing, give it some space. It is usually half or a third of the face is all forehead. So in this case, it is not because her mouth is wide open and she's extending the bottom of her face. Um, ooh, that forehead isn't too bad, I have to say. Manny, I have no idea what you're saying. You put hello, brother, so the doctor told the boy, open your mouth and say, ah, he looks healthy to me. Are you saying, I have no idea what you're saying. I will take it as a riddle that I cannot solve. The end. All right. It's okay if that gets messed up because I'm going to redo the hair anyways. All right. 
I might just bring it up a little bit anyways. And, oh, the nose. The nose needs all the green removed. Remember earlier? So when black mixes with any form of yellow, it makes a green. So that's where I'm getting this green from that I do not approve of. Ah, almost spilled all the paint. Yes, it is a girl. Correct. Oh, too dark. These two colors, the pink and the yellow, are not really mixing for me, so I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I think I did get that much. That's good. That's good. It's harder to be funny through text message because we can't hear you. But I'm sure I would have got your sarcasm otherwise. See, yellow and pink, it's... it's... It's uh it's hard. Okay. Um, 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 um I'm gonna get the small brush out again and I'm gonna start bringing some definition to this nose. Going back into my orange. Get some of my pink and just start defining where that nose is. One thing I don't have in my color scheme, which might help if I were to make the correction now, is decide on what color you want to be your shadow. Blue is not good if you're using yellow ochre because it makes green, but purples are good for skin tone. So any form of purple um, is good. Usually I use like a, what's the word? Um, like a dark red, like a burgundy. That's also nice, but I don't really see burgundy in these, these characters. So I've stayed away from it, but I might need to just like decide maybe like on a dark brown or something to go with these characters. Cause, um, I feel like this, uh, dark orange is not cutting it, but I could be wrong. So I'm just going to keep working it. Hardest part about an artist is not to judge yourself along the way. You need to just do it, fin you know, get it to a finished enough p portion or product and then make your judgments and corrections. So I'm just going to keep working it. You have to see the pick he's working from. Oh, I think he did, but I'll show. This is what I'm working from. Da -da 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 -da. Not bad. I haven't, you know, I'm just working it and not really stepping back and looking at it, but it's cool. I like it. Noses are always fun because they're, I don't know especially for children. They're very plump and round, so I like it. Do, 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 do. Anybody do any... Uh, devotionals this morning or anything that they want to share about. I was reading, um, pretty much inspired by yesterday's pre-service prayer. I reread uh, 
Second Peter, and yesterday I only read a portion of it, so today I read all of it, and um, it was just good. And Second Peter is super short, but it's all about the end times and like false teachers, false prophets, all that kind of stuff. So it was really interesting. I felt like I never read it before, even though I know I have. Um, but it's fun. What'd you guys read this morning? Hello, Brooklyn Roy. Good morning. It's fun. I, I usually don't feel like kids look like their grandparents, but in this case, they actually, as I'm painting them, I, I didn't think they looked alike, but they're a lot alike. Um, now that I'm painting their features, it's really cool. I always see these um, sped up uh, portrait paintings on like Instagram and stuff. I'm like, man, I wish I could paint like that. And then I speed up my my videos and I'm like, oh, I guess I can. So it's fun. So you just got to keep working it. That's it. it. It doesn't look exciting for the majority of it. But the one who perseveres will receive the crown of a good painting. That's um, King King Antonio version. Um, too yellow, looks like a booger. So we're going to have to figure this out now. Joseph Cruz, Nilda. Nilda, did you help with, um, with the Christmas decorations at Boom? Because if so, you did a great job. Because I was asking, I know my mother helped, and I don't know who else helped. But someone said you did, just wanted to say thanks. Where am I? What am I doing? Always look back at your photo. Always. If you guys are interested in portraits for your family or anything like that, feel free to check out my website, antoniotheartist.com. Sorry for the constant, uh, what is this doing? It's like clack, 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 that. But it's, what am I sitting, oh, that's why. Got it. Saving you guys. Okay. So if you if you haven't been watching along, pretty much what I did is I've been doing this style where you lay out the general colors. You could see it in this one right beside it. You lay out the general colors. Um then you go through and you lay down your shadows and kind of like the idea of where your shapes are going to go. And then you just keep layering, layering and working it until you start to get all the details coming out. So if you've just started watching, that's what I'm up to. Contrast will always help things pop up and pop out, so. But you have to decide where the contrast is because you don't always see it in the photo. <laughs> Excuse me. I am liking the way this is coming out. It's so much fun. So usually I have music on, which today I don't. And now you're getting a glimpse into, hey, beauty, my wife is watching. And now you're getting a glimpse into when I am home alone, I'm usually singing and humming. So sorry for those who are listening in. A lot is all. I also like talking in accents, so I'm usually talking to the Lord. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's coming out cool. If I were to do a class for you guys, um, hypothetically, what would you guys like to learn? What is something you, whether artist or non-artist, would like you see and you're like, oh my gosh, I must learn that. Tell me. Tell me more. 
Ah, oh, you're home. Don't you be too loud now, because I'm working. And, well, you have to know what I'm responding to. My wife said she's in the parking lot and she's about to come up to the apartment. So I'm just telling her she's got to be quiet because I'm, I am on the drawing board. All right. Unless she's the one who starts the music and then saves you all. That can be it. She can do that. It's coming out, y'all. It's coming out. I am super excited. I will wave you all. I will save. Yes, that, that's a better word, love. I will save you all from misery. Okay, so until she comes and saves you all, I'm going to sing to you. Fa la la la, la la la. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells rock. Jingle bells rock. How do you sing jingle bells? The worst thing is every time Carly tries to sing a song and I think I know what she's singing, I finish her words or her sentence and unromantically I come to find out it was not the song she was trying to sing and now she's very upset that the song she had perfectly inside of her head has been ruined. And I have come to find out that that is a gift of mine. So... If you would like someone to ruin your day by singing a song that's not stuck in your head, I am your guy. <laughs> yes, yes. She said, if I want more viewers, don't scare them away. Well, what's done is done. All right. Yep, I mess up her mojo all the time. All right. We're getting somewhere here, y'all. We're getting somewhere. It's starting to look formed and all that fun stuff. All right. We need some eyebrows back up in here. So I don't want to add black yet. How about we get some brown? All right, this it's in brown. Nope. Where is the brown? I'm gonna get some brown out because if I add black, it'll make green again. If I add brown, it'll be fine. So brown it is. Oh, wonderful. So my wife just walked in and she has me playing on in the background. And so now I'm hearing myself. Now I see what you guys are going through. Lovely echo. Oh, wonderful. So my wife just walked in and she has me playing on in the background. And so now I'm hearing myself. Sorry. <laughs> I had cool hands. See, that brown made everything wonderful. I don't know about you guys, but uh, if you like clementines, you could be Carly's best friend. Other clementines. Clementines, whatever they're called. Well, I don't know. They're cuties, and they're so cute. She calls them cuties. That's what they're called. And I'm 10% jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Inside joke. Inside joke. They're not supposed to move like that. Too bad. All right. Thank you. She put on some worship music. Now you guys can just relax. I saved Facebook. Doesn't mean I'm going to stop talking, yeah, though. Thank you later. 
Mm-hmm. Now you're gonna put them to sleep though. It's stuffy in here. You're gonna put them to sleep. Put on something else. Well, this is gonna no, I take that back. I'm in a restful mode. Thank you. They can just partner. Can I open that? Can I open that sliding door? A little bit. Otherwise, I'm a freeze. For those of you who are in Colombia, Andres y también posiblemente Alexander. Is it cold over there? Hace, hace frío en Colombia? No. Porque ahora es muy, muy frío. How do you, what do you say? Yeah, muy frío. Aquí, aquí sí está frío. Sí, aquí sí, whatever she said. Aquí está frío. Um, can you give me some like thicker socks? Cause <laughs> you just what are you doing? I'm trying to close this. Okay, pull it over. Uh uh huh, and then push it down, okay. down. Not. Let's watch as Carly tries to <laughs> to close the sliding door. You got this. It's not that hard. Just push it down, down. I am. Look. Okay, it's good. Now let go. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my oh. goodness. Yes. Guest appearance. Anyways, this is what I'm working with, y'all. This is what I'm working with. This is what we got so far. Work, got. Work, got. All right. Back at it. Okay. Ooh, I almost knocked everything over. Mm-mm. Okay, where are we at? So I was working on the nose. Uh, well, I would really like to sing along to the music, but I'm overcoming from a cold, and I will save you. Save you from uh, misery. It was worship. Oh, guess you're getting me. Get- Sorry about that. Sorry about that. He did it. No, that's the right song. Hi, right Elena. Words. Is it? No. No. No, that's not true. That is not true. You are, you lie. Not you, Elena. My wife is the liar. No, I sang the right lyrics at the right time. You can't rewind it. It's live. We have lots of original paintings available for sale. So if you are just watching along, take a look. I had put up another Facebook Live. Um sometime earlier this week uh and there's a lot of photos as well that are up and going they're on the mainstream jesus on the main line anyways um hey jonathan you're back what do you think what do you think about this is it better than it was before all right just keep working It's like Dory. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Half of painting is being a mad scientist. And, and, uh, but keeping your sanity. Let's get some brown on this eyebrow over here. You I wish I knew the, the, the lyrics. I'm like mumbling in your ear. Pull me back together You were the defender of my heart Hello, Paul Niemi Okay Let's 
So I am doing a style that I learned in college um, through my drawing class. I never took a painting class, but if you're just watching along, the style is pretty much to start with general. You just lay out the face, then you lay down where your darks and your lights are in general, mark it all out, and then start doing details. And so if you're just watching along, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. This is what I'm working with. And yeah. If you're interested in getting a painting of your own, definitely check out AntonioTheArtist.com and uh, you can see some stuff. Defender of my heart. It's getting a little bit too pink over here. I mean, too pink. I need to mix some jello. Well, it's not yellow, it's yellow ochre. Y también some pink. Y también some white. And hope and pray that it corrects the mistake. At least it took it back to a little bit of yellow. I think again, I'm getting to the point where I need to get loose again, so. Hola, Louis. What's up? Don't know if you're still on. My brother? Yep. I love you. Carly says she loves you. So the form is starting to come out. I just keep moving the colors back and forth. Um, I'm still not fully on detail yet. Um, love you too. Okay. <laughs> Carly just gave her scary laugh. So you know what that means. You're her brother. He knows. She said he knows me. It's true. It's true. I'm still trying to know her. Um, instead of running away because uh, she scares me. All right. There we go. We're getting there. 
This is a, an experiment every time. Every time I do portraits, it's a total, a total experiment. Um, because every face is completely different. Some people are so much easier, others are not. Um, in this case, I would say it's been pretty chill. This is the first time I'm painting a portrait live, which is slightly nerve wracking, but I tried to be as prepared as possible. So, so far so good. See, it's moments like that where I'm like, dang, why didn't it blend? All right. Instead, it just looks like a solid white square. Por qué? Por qué? Okay. Ugh, it's not working. And then this is super bright yellow. Well, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles. You just got to keep figuring it out. I might transition to my small brush again soon. Sounds like Carly is fighting the kitchen behind me. All right. Sometimes when your brush gets dry too, that's kind of where I'm maneuvering the paint. So it, it does give more of a blend to everything. Too much blend. All right, what do I want to do here? Okay, I'm gonna go back to the small brush. Ow. Way to hit myself. If you're wondering what I'm working with, this is what I'm working with. Bam. Okay, back to it. So it's coming out slowly but surely. My plan in the background is to make it super colorful. So, um, uh, later I might add those super colorful colors slightly um, into the face, but uh, uh, okay, let's, sorry, the photo is going everywhere. All right. It's, um, I'm going to use brown again to, uh, to lay out some lines that I want to do in black, but black is just too harsh. Uh, black makes green, and we don't want that. Brown is like a safe black. So, much better. I feel like brown is like prayer in my life. I forget to use it. It's like, it's perfect. All right. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-
It is the little nuances of somebody's face that makes it look like them. And that is, I think, the biggest challenge of portraits. It takes time. And to make it look like somebody is, is a, it's a big deal. Thankfully, this, this photo is, it's obvious. He has glasses, chinky eyes. They have incredible smiles. Her mouth is open. His mouth is, he's got teeth showing, you know. So thankfully, it'll look like them regardless. Um, but that is something to, that I need to grow in that I feel gets really difficult sometimes to make it look like the person if they're not super uh, distinguished. Wash my brush because that brown mixed with the uh, mixed with the pink is giving her like a black eye. So, what do I want to do here? Um, let's go back to pink. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus. You silence fear, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble. What's up, Gerald? Putting down highlights and stuff like that. Your name cannot be Silence fear, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble. Sometimes just a dash of color is all you need, and then you just blend it in. amazing how much because uh, I, I had really forgotten about it to do the the eyelids on the bottom um, they add such character so make sure not to forget your eyelids
Ah, Gerald says that she's posting her rocks. Um, she has a page called, what is it called? Hashtag my rock, something like that. What is it called? Um, anyways, Gerald will put her info below, but she has a, a ministry where she paints rocks. And, uh, so someone found her rock at Westfest, which is an outreach we did this weekend. Um, and yeah, so that's fun. So she's going online to post right now. Too much white. Looks like there's a whole dove on the side of her cheek. Why does this always happen? Oh, it's called hashtag share my rock. So there you have it, friends. There you have it. Now my phone is dying, so soon this tutorial will be over. But till then, we continue on. Now I'm laying out the color for the tongue. Little bit of white. White, white. A little bit of brown because there's shadow. Oop, too much brown. You don't want it to look like chocolate. Lunch is ready. When there is a mistake, how hard is it to fix it? Does it depend on the color you're using? Um, yeah, I would say so. I think it just depends on what the mistake is, where it's at, like all that kind of stuff. But thankfully, acrylic is very forgiving, which is why I love to use it. Um, also, you know, black is more difficult to use, which is why right now I'm using brown. Um, and, and yeah, so definitely it's a lot easier to correct yourself depending on what point of the painting you're in, which is why I like to do this style every once in a while, because it allots for a lot of editing. Pretty much what you're doing is just putting down color and then editing. And even here, this is much more smoother than I had in my, it, the idea that I had in my head. In my head, you would have seen a lot more brush strokes and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, so that's the answer to that question for me. Just depends on what you're correcting, where you're correcting it, at what time, you know. But acrylic is super forgiving, so. It's good. Looks like she doesn't have teeth down here, like a little old lady. But she does, y'all, she does. I might have to, as the artist, decide to add that in, even though it's not in the photo. Because, uh... Like, even here, let's assume she has a tooth. It's not in the photo, but, um... Let's just, let's just imagine she has teeth. That might not, you know, it, it might not work. We might have to go over that. Um, 
Let me give her a lip. All hail King Jesus. I can't sing that song. Oh. Um, Janny? Is it Janie or Janny? Just say one or two. Janie or Janny. Thanks. It looks amazing so far. By the way, I'm Gloria Martinez's mom. Aw, awesome. I'm glad you watched in. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, this one has been a little bit challenging, but not too bad. So we're doing pretty good. Um, I don't feel anywhere near done in regards to this little girl's face, but it is way better than, than expected. See, because I'm starting to get a little bit too pinkish. It's so easy to, you know, um, kind of end up back where you started, but you just keep working it. Sometimes I gotta just pick a better color scheme, um, which helps to reduce the mistakes and stuff because you don't have to adjust everything all the time. I don't know if I'm making sense, but one, Janie, cool. Da -da 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 -da. Well, soon I will be logging off of this because my phone is dying, just so you guys know. If you guys are at all interested in art classes or even getting a painting of your own, um, that is totally possible. You could just go to AntonioTheArtist.com and, um, and you can find... My my classes, my size is there. I don't have anything about classes, though. So if you want info on that, just DM me. And um, pretty much the goal or the way that I like to do it is you gather the people um, wherever you would like. Um, if not, I have up to five people at the studio that we can fit. And then uh, from that point, we you decide what you want to learn and I'll provide the supplies and teach you according to what you want to learn. So that's what we do. Thank you, Gerald. Thanks for saying it looks good. I'm trying to be more loose, but it is not in my nature at this moment. I really like when you can see all the different brush strokes and stuff, but... 
Maybe because it's a baby skin. I'm like, no. You couldn't even hear what I said because my voice cut off. All right. Um... Thanks, Tara. Tara is a teacher at one school of the arts and um, amazing. So I take that as a great compliment. Gerald is also a local artist. I know I mentioned her rocks, but didn't mention she also makes she also makes T-shirts and um, and a lot of things, actually paintings, live paintings, all that kind of stuff. So if you ever need her services, she is at your service. There's no other name. There's no other name I know. All right, let's add some life to these eyes. If I could just add some life to the eyes, I'll have some morale right now. So I'm going to get a little bit of brown because her eyes are naturally brown, even though they look really dark. Thank you, Janie. Um, Janie says, God bless you. Love. And um, what's it called? Yes, there are more videos. This is the seventh one I've done. So feel free to check them out. Of course, they're not super exciting. It's just me. You're following along for like hours on, on end. But definitely, thank you so much for, for watching. We're going to add some life to these eyes because um, that is a need. I'm going to go back into the black. Give it a pupil. Pupil. There's no other name. There's no other name I know, Jesus. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit of yellow and see if I like that. Nope, it won't look like his daughter. So I'm gonna take that back. Go back into the brown, make it a little bit darker. I'm going to take some of that black again. It looks like her eyes are outlined in black. Now, there's a shadow. Mm. I'm just going to... Add black here and add black to the top. Give her a bigger. All right, the eyes are starting to come alive. I'm so excited. Ariana, Mexico. Hola. What's up? Okay. All right. So, that looks pretty good. If I go any further, she'll look like she's wearing mascara, and she's a little girl not wearing mascara. So we don't want that. Um... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, all right, let me wash my brush. Uh, let's go to the white, to the white, and add reflection. Like that. 
I don't know what is reflecting in her eyes, but I am perceiving it as multiple little dots. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. -da. The end. Look at how beautiful her eyes look. So sweet. All right. There's no other name. There's no other name I know. Jesus. Carly turned off the music, and you guys know what that means. I'm singing now. So enjoy the music. She put on headphones and she's gone, sadly. She's eating dinner without me and her headphones. Probably watching her new TV show called Greenleaf, which I can't stand. If you guys watch that show, I'm judging you. It's okay. I have my own shows that you can judge me for. But um, something I see in the photo is in the eyes. You know, there's blue tints obviously you see more blue through the video but um but yeah so there's more blue here so i'm gonna get a slight blue and add it to the eye to give it that round look so um i'm gonna go with this blue even though this is not usually the blue i would choose but i'm choosing it because i'm going to later add it to the background um and then before i i end this video I will go ahead and add this blue to the background um, so that you can get an idea of what it's going to look like soon. Just to give the eyes some shadow. Hi, Pam. I'll be seeing you guys soon. Me and Carly will be at the Jesus Conference again. All right. There's no other name. There's no other name I know. All right. There are your baby eyes. Um, and then that's all I'm going to do with the blue. I'm going to put... Uh, blue in the background well i'm gonna get some pink first mm -mm 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 -mm. not bad not bad at all she's not done she does have some details to go but uh just wanted to Look how cool that is. That's just so cool. I love it. Just adding some background. Um, going back to the pink. Just mixing it up. Give it like a nice Hawaiian feel or something. 
or Miami, maybe Miami colors. Um, Gerald, your question is, how am I recording this? My phone is on a, a, I'll show you. I'll take the phone off of it so you can see it. One moment. Let me just finish this. Obviously, it's on Facebook Live, but um, just since I have, uh, I'm going to paint the edge while I have extra paint. All right, so I'm on 10%, so I'm going to um, um, wrap up. So here we are. Um, this is what I got so far. This is what I'm painting. Um, this is the full piece. The goal of the painting is to make it look very playful and all that kind of stuff. And so she's coming out cute. I just got to make sure she does look cute. Not crazy, um, which is why I also want to use the colors and things like that to pull out the playfulness. Um, now, this is where I'm holding my phone. So, bam, there's a clip right here. And then I just put the clip in it. So, I don't remember where I got this, maybe like at a Ross or something like that. But, uh, but yeah. So anyways, that is what I'm going to paint for today. I don't know how long I've been recording, but um, but yeah. So there you have it. That is one style or one way that I work on my portraits is just you lay down the base colors and then you lay down the darks and the lights and then you start to add detail. Um, another tip that I said earlier in the video is always make sure that you have a color scheme um, because that'll help you to constantly adjust and, you know, uh, fix your painting um, easily. Uh, if you have too many colors, it'll be difficult to recreate those colors. Um, what else? The main colors that I went to, I will show you, was some kind of pink, um, brown for dark, because black was too overpowering, which is what we realized today. Uh, some kind of uh, like clay orange, an off-white, and uh, yeah, so we have yellow ochre, some kind of orange, or, um, forgive me, pink, some kind of burnt orange, and an off-white, and then a brown for some of the harder lines. So this is what I got so far. So you can see before and after. And so yeah, so that is that, and this is the photo. And I will show you guys the finished product when I'm done, which will probably not be today. But um, I'm glad you guys watched along. Feel free to put any questions below. If you would like to get a painting of your own, AntonioTheArtist.com is the place where all the sizes and prices are listed. And, uh, and yeah, so anyways, love you guys. And tell me what you would like to learn, and then I might do a painting on it or keep it in mind for the future. So anyways, have a wonderful day. God bless you. Peace.